He's been missing for more than 50 hours and with each passing minute, the family of three-year-old AJ Elphalak grow more desperate. A strike force is now spearheading the bushland search at Putty, northwest of Sydney. Petrol station CCTV has been seized and a nearby shack is an active crime scene. But at this stage, police aren't commenting on fears he may have been abducted. In a field surrounded by detectives, AJ's brother, just eight years old, walking through a paddock where they'd taken a buggy ride together before he disappeared on Friday morning. Day three, hope turning into desperation. Yeah, we've organised a personal helicopter. We have to ramp it up. After searching through the night, the three-year-old's parents, Kelly and Anthony, were up again at the crack of dawn. Family members taking to the air in a private helicopter. On the ground, it was a sea of orange. So you start a point. For police, the property's 15 dams, the focus... One of them, not far from the family's home, drained by an excavator this morning, divers waist deep wading through the murky water. Detectives now diving even deeper. We're uh, following up any leads of inquiry that we might have, ensuring that everything is pursued uh, by our investigators. Forensic police arrived overnight, dusting the Elphalax family home for fingerprints, taking photos and collecting evidence. A service station at Colo Heights, 45 kilometres towards Sydney, also a site of interest. CCTV was seized two days ago after the family reported seeing a white Toyota Hilux driving down their private road around the same time of AJ's disappearance. Very stressful, very stressful times. Kid just doesn't pick up and disappear. Not from here, not from these parts. We're all just so bewildered and... We can't piece it all together. We can't work out what, why, why he's not here. And then there's this. A video taken by searchers inside an abandoned house one kilometre south of the farm. Today it was an active crime scene. A number of items have been seized from this home. Investigations are now underway into whether somebody may have been squatting here recently. Detectives are leaving no stone unturned. How do you think we're doing? We're not doing too well. With another cold night looming, every second is crucial, but hope remains even in the darkest of situations. All right, there are developments in this story. Let's go straight to James Wilson at the scene. James, what can you tell us? Well, Peter, what utility has just been seized by a tow truck down at this abandoned property around one kilometre south of the Elphalak family home? It's just been towed out moments ago, and police say this is a vehicle of interest in their investigation. Police have also confirmed that the search for AJ will continue tonight. It will also run into tomorrow morning. We are approaching night three. It is cold and AJ went missing without any food or water. But even in the darkest of times, there is still hope amongst family and police officers that AJ will be found and brought home safe. Pete. We've got a hope. James, thank you. For breaking news, turn to Peter Overton, nightly at six.